So it's been a little bit while since I did an impromptu, if you will, kind of a video for you guys. And something that I wanted to talk about is how millennials really fuck up enjoying music. And it's never been easier for them in this current era where on YouTube, you can literally look up any album or any song that anyone has ever made. So this is the first generation that throughout most of their life, they have been capable of listening to all kinds of music. But if you look at the music that the generation is being provided by the music industry, you can listen and you can hear that this audio is very condensed in a kind of a way that it is all present, all there, all the time. Like, it's kind of hard to explain if you don't know a lot about music or music theory or recording, but let me tell you, there is something seriously wrong with the sound. So if you look at the top rock songs of this year or last year or the year before, and you go through and listen to them, you're going to hear kind of a bit of a theme of an all-encompassing kind of wild, like everything is kind of there at one time sort of a sound. However, if you go back several decades and you listen to music from the 60s and the 70s, this is music that was recorded by people actually in a studio. So that means they're actually in the studio and there's microphones hooked up, set up. They have state of the art, you know, recording equipment for the time, for the period that, you know, this was all going on. And you can hear every incremental thing that everybody's doing. You can hear all the little fixations. You know, there's all of these sounds coming in from all of these different places. See, that's a lot different from music that's done on a computer where everything is done electronically, where it just kind of seems like all of this stuff is there. Instead, you're picking up all these different signals and then you're putting them together and trying to levy them together against each other, which it can be, by the way, if you guys do any kind of audio work, it's quite a challenge, by the way. But the point being that they don't understand that this form of music, it, it, it literally, it literally sounds way better. It sounds really good. It sounds fantastic, actually. Um, and everything is not so blown out of proportion and all of that. You know, back then a lot of bands were recording things on tape, you know, <laughs> like there's all this stuff. And you've got to understand that in order to do that type of music, especially when you're recording on tape, you guys got to be fucking ready when you hit that studio. You got to be ready to record that, to drop that track, uh, drop that song and make it sound fucking fantastic because there's no room for error in that kind of a situation. But, you know, today, like, these kids, the music they're listening to, it just sounds like fucking trash. And I'm not, I'm not saying this. I'm not saying this out of some kind of, like, like, oh, my generation's music is the best. No, because I like 60s and 70s music. And the fact is that the music that was recorded back then sounded a lot better. It, and, you know, just to put all this to, to the side for the moment, just to bring up a different topic, the fact is that... The music back then, when people are actually playing the instruments, their soul, their spirit, if you will, as in their feelings and all of these things, you can hear that in it. And it is really a group of people that are real humans that are creating and uh, uh, constructing, if you will, their bond together in music form. Like there's something ephemerally beautiful and incredible about this. And, you know, the fact is that it's quite an amazing thing. But when you, you know, we, so people conflate that, think that this kind of expression where people are actually making music, who are really performing, who uh, are using these instruments in a way that allows them to truly express themselves, put their emotion into it, how that can be conflated in, to any degree to... The music that you hear people putting out today is just ridiculous. Like, that is not, that is not the same. That, that is not, I, I, you, you know, maybe we need another term instead of music. We need actual, like, human performed, human present music versus, you know, this kind of electronic mumbo jumbo kind of bullshit type of thing that 
you know, you hear today and you hear people doing today. And it's, it's pretty, it's pretty pathetic. And it's, it's horrible to listen to. Uh, and I think several decades from now, we're going to look back and we're going to be like, okay, all the music the music industry was making right now, total garbage. Like all the music people are putting out, total garbage. But we'll look back several decades before and we'll be like, yeah, that's right. That is where the real music was being made. And we all know it's true. We all know it's true. We need a lot more real bands playing real music. The last great band we had was probably Nirvana. And it's been a while. So, you know, we really need to... Uh, get back to making real music and getting people into real music again because um, it seems like in terms of marketing and promotion and all this people have moved towards this kind of like fake music kind of movement and it's fine you know people people apparently pay for it you know people pay for it so okay that's cool but you know besides the youth there's other people who like music too. And the fact is the music industry has been appealing to the youth for far too long. Like when you really think about it, humanity has been interested in enjoying music for a very long time. And there's all of these other untapped uh, <laughs> resources for you capitalist scumbags, you know, uh, people of various ages. And I think that we really need to think about how um, you know, in terms of what music we share and promote in society, what we share and why we do it, and really broadening that. But uh, uh, those those big uh, big music company people are going to have to hire me if, if they want me to help them. You know, I'm sitting here watching. I can see it happening. So you know, you want me to help you? Let me know. Um, you know, if you see this video or whatever. <laughs> but anyway, peace. Logically zone out, this motherfucker.